So we are back on another part of Mass Effect Andromeda guys. So I know I said in the channel update not long back that I will not be doing any intros in these parts but I thought I'd announce something now or just uh, explain something right now. I've been having some difficulty with my live commentary in these videos and I know that you've probably noticed with it being cut off a few times. I'm hoping it's fixed now and it's not going to be doing that anymore. Uh, but I'll keep an eye out more closely on it and hopefully the issue will no longer persist. But with that being said, let's uh, continue this let's play because we left off in a particular place. Like we just got here and we're ready to find out more about it with our Scott Rider. And look at this view. <laughs> Pretty cool. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's continue on. I just noticed this actually some... Uh, animations that go on with your character whilst you're waiting. Starts using his Omni tool a little and the likes. <laughs> it's pretty cool, actually. It really is. Uh, let's uh, see if I can talk with anyone here. Hello, console. You and I are going to be very good friends. We'll get you all fixed up and ready to go in no time. As soon as we hook you up to all that juicy, juicy power. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, this is Nexus Control to Hyperion. It's good to have you here. Choice, good to have you here. How the hell should I know? Spender, you have a job. If you want to keep it, do it. God damn it. Okay. We can talk to her. Let's stop. All right. What happened? To who? To whom? And your goddamn father. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything and right now i just want to know what happened with alec not how he died i pulled those logs what happened with pathfinder uh i feel like this is a very important dialogue choice um logical or emotional so i like the system i really do it gives you a idea of what how you're going to respond what your tone of voice will be and I really do like it like I said earlier um, they introduced this but I will introduce this in Dragon Age 2 and I really enjoyed that feature although it was more like a, like a system of good neutral and bad or type of thing in Dragon Age 2 because you only have three or six emotional states but three at, available at a time more or less um, this is really well implemented I really do like it it's even better and I'm assuming it actually changes the personality of your rider as it builds it up as well so yeah I really love that feature I'm so glad by the way decided to bring it back so glad so uh, Scott Rider for me personally, I think he should be more logical, especially, or yeah, especially in this particular scenario. Maybe. Then again, it. I don't know. I might be too tired to do this right now. All that matters is he's gone. I don't want to get into it. Things went wrong, and now I'm the one you have to deal with. Alec Ryder wouldn't accept that kind of ultimatum. Damned if I will. We'd never have left home if we... <sighs> Not home. The Milky Way. This is home. This mess. We don't have a lot of options, Ryder. Maybe you'll prove your father right. After 14 months of failed colonization, forgive me if I don't hold my breath. Uh... Okay. We've got a lot of information to go through, I suppose. Questions. Clonal director position. How do you fit into the Nexus leadership? I oversee the actual settlement effort. As the number of outposts is currently less than ideal, my influence is limited. As Tan is quick to remind me. Left a perfectly adequate career as a chief officer. Provincial capital, too. Only a new galaxy could pull me away. And here we are, idling. Things will pick up, I'm sure. You called my father Alec. No one does that. 
A lot of us joined the initiative because of his vision. What he shared of it, anyway. Were you friends? Or... I'm not your new mother, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> or his friend. He hated that I didn't use his title. But no one's a pathfinder until they've path found something. Much like a colonial director without colonies. Hmm. The plan for hostiles. There must be some kind of plan for encountering hostile aliens. We can't have been that naive. We expected life, not an enemy that refuses to talk. They don't attack, they disinfect. We're nothing until we're bacteria. Sorry, 14 months and you stoop to poetry. That's how bad it is. Oh. Not sure who started it, but we're calling them Ket. Kandros will know more. Maybe too much. You don't trust him? I trust him to defend us. I do not trust a rising military influence in a supposedly civilian initiative. We came here to make history, Ryder. Not repeat it. Ugh, oh, goddamn poetry. <laughs> you know it's bad when you're quoting poetry. Ah, insight into strange tech. There's also the strange technology. Has anyone studied that? We've tried. Not me. The brains in research. They're supposed to know their business. The current excuse? The tech we dug up on Mars was more advanced, but it was plug and go. The tech here thinks different? I don't know. We've mostly avoided it. And from what the Hyperion logs say about Alec, maybe that's good. Failing up You've had no colony successes in over a year. How many tries is that? Less than you'd think. The scourge, spoiled worlds, exiles, hostiles. We can't just plop down an outpost and expect picket fences. We need the Pathfinder and Sam to scout, evaluate, and inspire. The initiative promised a goal. Andromeda has not cooperated. And if it had? Beautiful, utopian horseshit. Colonies that produce and support each other. The Nexus as Citadel. Not headed by Tan. Or even me. Hmm. I think I'll be going. Excuse me, Director Addison. Ryder? It's Pathfinder. Ryder. We're starving huh. here. If we don't get a foundation of outposts to feed the initiative, we might as well be 600 years dead. Alec promised a lot. None of it panned out. That's what you're up against. Why people won't trust you. Why I don't trust you. Prove me wrong. It's not a challenge. I feel like I'm going to uh, prove you wrong. Definitely. Yeah, a little bit of a... Uh, Character building. It's, it's good to know some of these characters, I suppose. Now, the question is, where do I go to speak to the director, Tan, in Pathfinder headquarters? So, is that? It's a good question. I got my new ship, I think. Uh, I guess I have to go through there because of the objective marker. Of course, let's explore. So, if you play a game like this, you can't help not to explore. Yeah, speak to people, find awesome loot just lying around no one's using, <laughs> and uh, take it. Ah, that door opened up. Ah, okay, cashier's office. And look, a container. I doubt anyone will mind if I just take the Maverick skirmish armor and Omni Gel canister. Hmm. That reminds me, uh, can I not know? Yes, I know the Hyperion docking unannounced caused some switches to blow. That's fine. I don't care. We know the problem is more widespread than we thought. We're working to fix it. That's all. My crew's working on it. We've moved the off center to the top of our priority list. Okay. Data pad. Uh... Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm sort of scanning this. Uh, just not reading it fully. But drama happening, I suppose. Anything else? Entire I can sector check? showing green. Good job, you two. 
Let's talk. There you are. Hope the others haven't been giving you a hard time. There's a lot that needs doing. At least with the Hyperion hooked up and feeding us power, my team and I can get more work done. Krogan, whereabouts? I noticed there aren't a lot of Krogan around. You haven't spoken to number eight yet, have you? Number eight? Tan. Ask him why most of my people left. He'll have opinions. I can tell you this much. When the mutiny happened, a deal was made. My clan were supposed to settle matters and in return, get more say in the initiative. Um, okay. Number eight. Why do you call Tan eight? Because he was eighth in line to take over the Andromeda initiative. I like to remind him of that now and then. Keep him humble. Did the deal go through? The clan held up their part, but Tan had a meltdown when he found out we wanted more say around here. Then Addison's assistant, Spender, pretended he never made the deal in the first place. It was a mess, but I don't blame my people for walking out. We're done being used. <laughs> With your clan gone, why did you stay? It's complicated. The station and my clan both need me here. Other questions. Nexus problems. What sort of problems have you seen on the Nexus? Situations gone to shit pretty much sums it up. There's arcs missing. Some idiots tried to mutiny and take over, then more idiots offended my clan, so they left. And to top it all off, the founder of the initiative, Gian Garson, was killed. Oh, really? That's not good. What happened to Jean Garson? Killed in the Scourge disaster. Her and a bunch of the other leaders. Tan might know more. And I thought the Hyperion had it bad when we arrived. Anything else? The outposts aren't happening because we don't have resources or people, so Addison's more uptight than ever. And let's not forget how badly the station was damaged on arrival. But that's a detail, according to some. My team and I are repairing what we can. If we don't get materials soon, things will go downhill. Fast. Okay. The Genophage. When we left the Milky Way, the Krogan were still dealing with the Genophage. Right. The Genophage. A little gift to our people from the Solarians thousands of years ago. That sterility virus they infected us with left most of our children stillborn. Only one in a thousand survive. I know all this, but maybe some people who's watching might not know. So let's continue this line of questioning. Maybe. No wonder your people have such a problem with Solarians. Some wounds never heal. Not that my ancestors didn't provoke it. They did try to conquer the galaxy. The Solarians were forced to respond. And it's not fair to blame it all on them, either. The Solarians developed the virus, but it was the Turians who deployed it. I'm hoping that's all in the past. Plenty of blame to go around, but Andromeda is about new beginnings. My people need that more than most. Hmm. I get the feeling that you're the new Vex of this uh, series of Mass Effect games, perhaps. What about the Krogan here in Andromeda? There's no cure for it. But my clan was starting to show a mutation against the virus. A natural defense. During the trip to get here, Krogan underwent gene therapies to enhance the mutation while we were in stasis. So you used those 600 years to your advantage. Gave the adaptation more time to develop. Yeah. It's still early, but I think we made a dent. Our scientists say we've improved viability to almost 4% which is a lot better than what we had. Beyond all the statistics, it means more Krogan children will live. It's the only way my people have a future out here. Yeah. The Genovage was cured in the previous Mass Effect games. Oh, I'm sorry, spoilers about the previous Mass Effect games. Oh, that's gonna probably bite me in the ass. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. What kind of work do you do as superintendent? I was part of the team that originally designed and built this place. I keep the station functional, or as functional as possible, considering. Hmm. Nothing more for now. See you later. I like her. Second favorite Krogan so far, I have to admit. 
third favorite program, actually. So I forgot about that one. But yeah, I, in case you guys didn't know, I have played the previous Mass Effect games, all three of them, and they're pretty awesome. I love them. <laughs> so yeah, it doesn't seem like you need to play the previous games to play this one as well. This is the planet where we landed, Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we've found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. Uh, I figured out what these meant. Definitely figured out what these meant. That is casual and that is professional. I thought it didn't measure up as Pathfinder. Director Addison keeps her own counsel. I keep mine. And when you disagree? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end, the Scourge dealt us a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way, yet it rendered all the Golden Worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into, the Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here. Eos. How? Oh. You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable, so how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Terraforming? Right. I think I should go check on things. And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... Hmm... I feel like I should remain professional with this guy. Just point the way. Just point me to my ship and I'll be out of here. They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. Ah. Something wrong? Oh. Ryder, can you see me and Sam on the Hyperion? Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No, I'm fine. I don't know about you guys, but that high pitched sound that happened then for the sound effects kind of hurt me. <laughs> I hate high pitched sounds like that. Sort of gives me a little bit of a headache. Ah. Well, that. Sound like it might have hurt. Hey, you okay? I'm fine. My arms got the brunt of it. Stuff exploding like this happen often? Back right after the mutiny, we had a lot of this happening. But not lately. I wasn't there during the mutiny. Lucky. I thought we were done with this, honestly. That maybe I was just being paranoid. Um. Is it paranoia? You know what they say. It's not paranoia. If someone is out to get to you, yeah. Third time this week. It's getting worse. First one was small stuff. This one could have hurt bad if I'd been closer. That's not good. Sorry, understatement. Yeah. And now I have more repairs. Um. Did you talk to security about this? How can I? For all I know, someone in security is the one doing this. I've scanned all the potential sabotage areas I can think of. But I don't know who to trust anymore. Sounds like a lot went down before the Hyperion docked. Yeah, I guess. Wait. That's it. You can't possibly be involved in this. You weren't even here during the mutiny. Would you, if, if you have time? Maybe you could help me. If they start hitting critical systems. Uh, how can I refuse? But I do feel like he might be a little paranoid. But how can I refuse? Let's do it. Sure thing. What can I do? 
If you could scan these other panels while I fix this one, that'd really help. I've sent the locations to your Omni tool. Just send me the data when you're done. Fair enough. No, 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 I'm fine. And I don't, I don't know. It, it just blew up. Find out why. Be careful. Dun, dun, dun. Right. Directions I'm going. Um, objective marker is not coming up. Great. Uh, so I'm guessing these objective markers will be around here somewhere, maybe. This is a nightmare. I don't know. I want to talk to other people, though. Definitely want to talk to other people. 